Okay, team. Oh, man. We are going to turn this Polaris RS1 into an old 70s Funko single seat race car. Hell yeah. That's awesome. We've got the car, we've got the body. It's time to see how we're going to put this thing together and what we're going to do. That's right. You heard it from Greg. This year, Rugged Radios takes on a special project build unlike any before. Rugged Radios will replicate a classic 1970s Funko buggy on an all-new 2019 Polaris RS1. You know what? Lengthening the car out, it's going to make that panel almost fit just the way it is. Yeah, it should go right in there. The crew gets busy, wasting no time, and begins the process with a full teardown right to the frame. <laughs> <laughs> We're all waiting, he's all being real quiet. <laughs> Collaborating with expert fabricator Nick Valentine of NV Fab in Oceano, California, the team begins initial concept planning and measuring. Using original Bunko body panels and pods as reference, the body is put into position to evaluate placement, sizing, and any required changes needed to make it work on the Polaris RS1. Final decisions, angles, and cuts are carefully calculated and measured. Once the team is confident in the final decision, the panels are sent out to McQueen Prototype Design in Gardena, California. Here the expert team spends hours at McQueen's replicating the final fiberglass body panels. While all that's going on, this RS1 build also requires some custom sheet metal work. With unique angles and cuts and rolls required, the team gets to work on additional panels, the door, and visor. Getting it right is a perfect combination of skill and artistry. The team at NB Fab works the metal into perfect form and fit. With the body panels back from McQueen's, the team does a final inspection and fitment testing. There's definitely some more work that needs to be done before they're completely ready. The body panels are sent to Crescini's who then preps the fiberglass for paint. Sanding, cleaning, and prepping the panels has to be perfect for that precise, clean surface finish. With the frame assembly complete, the frame has to be powder coated to give it that total factory feel. All the components are loaded up and carried off to Central Coast Powder Coaters who treat and powder coat the frame. A little time in the oven to cook and the frame is ready to get back on the RS1. Now this project gets serious. All the components and pieces are back and it's time for the team to put their talent to the test. Assembly and fabrication are two words that simply cannot underscore the time and attention to detail required to complete this build. Of course, no rugged build is complete without KC highlights to light the way. And what a perfect match to this throwback SS1 build. Lone Star Racing was the choice for the SS1 for suspension improvements. From front to back with A arms to trailing arms and radius arms, the LSR setup delivers the look and performance needed to hit the trails. BF Goodrich Baja KR2s give the SS1 some solid feet and traction while the Walker Evans Legend V-Lock wheels finish off the look and style of this build. Brand Creative West brought life to the SS1 project by completing the graphics with a classic throwback look to the 1970s. While the team is working on the build, it's time to give you a little backstory behind this project. You know, Steve Burchard came to work for me a few years ago, and before I hired him, I didn't even know that I knew his brother. His brother, Ron Burchard, I used to deal with his brother before, and he supported me and my company. Well, you know what, when Steve came to work for me, he told me about his brother, but his brother had passed away. His brother worked for Funko Racing, was a big part of the family, and he built his own single seat Funko race car. Well, while racing that race car in their first race, 20 miles in, he had a massive heart attack and passed away. So right from the start, when Greg and I started talking about doing this build, uh, turning an RS1 into an SS1, it's meant the world to me. Um, everything with my brother at Funko, my whole family, all the history that we have with Funko, and then even my dad racing back the original Mint 400 he raced in. So taking this car back to that homage, it just means the world to me. So this build, just like all of Rugged's builds, over the top. 
The SS1 out of an RS1 was no different. Uh, the geometry on these cars to make those fiberglass, those cool fiberglass panels work on this wider and taller car with A-arm suspension instead of a beam was definitely going to be a challenge. So when I came up with the concept of this build, I wanted to have it inspired by Ron Burchard. And you know, we did exactly that. I had Steve very instrumental into the build of this car. But you know what, we got to the point in the build that I said, you know what Steve, you can't see it anymore. Because in the background, I had some special touches. For the final days and hours of the build, Steve has been off site as all the special finishing touches come together. The touches that will hold a special meaning for Steve. His brother's steering wheel. The embroidered seat. A reminder of Ron's love of Diet Pepsi. Ron's racing number worked into the graphics around the vehicle. And of course, a special message across the visor. On the day of the reveal, we took a special trip to Funko in Southern California. Home of the original Funko buggies, there could be no better place to unveil the new vehicle to Steve. With everyone in attendance, it's time for the final and emotional reveal. When the tears dried, there was only one thing left to do. That should be obvious. And that's take it for a ride. Christening the new build, Steve put the rugged SS1 to the test in a mix of terrain and track conditions. Just look at that rugged SS1 perform. The rugged SS1 takes to the trails and the track like it was born to. When all is said and done, at the end of the day, everyone here has something to write home about. It's been said that a man's worth can be measured by the number of friends he has. And if that's true, our employee and our friend, Steve Bouchard, is truly wealthy.